Welcome back to another video from Evolutions. <laughs> so today, we actually have a pretty jam-packed schedule for you guys, which is actually really good. But I want to start off by first saying, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to our channel, watching us, and basically, you know, join the Evolutions family, right? So, and I also want to start off by saying, remember, we also have our 150 subscriber, um, a little like giveaway picnic, picnic if you will, uh, where we're going to start off at Pickerton Ponds. We're going to do a, a whole photo shoot there, and then we're going to have, and then we're going to have a, a huge cruise out to Hawking Hills, and we're going to have rollers, a professional photographer, and everything. And you know, Kosh and I are going to buy hot dogs and hamburgers for everybody. And if you want to bring your own dish, come on out. We would love to have you guys out. Like when we get 150 subscribers, we're going to do that for everybody. This is to our appreciation for all you guys because we really, honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, do truly appreciate each yeah. and every one of you guys. Yeah. So yeah, but we're going to get started off on our little... Oh, and also, before I start too, I want to give a congratulations to... Uh, I want to screw this up again. Joe Wanger, all right? Oh, Ask for Bobby Joe. <laughs> I, I finally got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for Bobby Joe on Instagram. I'll, I'll post his you know his uh, handle down, down below too. But And he actually won our 100 subscriber giveaway. Like I said, we're sorry to um, the previous winner who... He, he never messes us back at all, so we had to, you know, go over to somebody else to, you know, get the ball rolling. But congratulations to Joe Wanger, or Ask for Bobby Joe, and, you know, we, we messaged him, and he's he's really excited to start doing this, so as soon as he gets some time, and as soon as this disease stuff goes by, we're going to have a lot of fun eating every one of you guys. Yep. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to get started on today's video. So today's video is basically about, like, what... A lot of people ask us, you know, what kind of cars can they buy? You know, for around that fifteen thousand dollar, you know, price, you know, it's still a sports car they can go out and have fun with. Like your first yeah, sports car, yeah. you know. Yeah. So it actually Kosh and I have a lot of, a lot of thought into this. And I mean there's a, there's quite a few cars. So we, so we want to hear you guys' feedback also, obviously. We love messaging you guys. We love, you know, talking to you guys in person. It's always a great time. So yeah. So we're going to get started with today's video. <laughs> yes, let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> So, <clears throat> we have a list of vehicles um, as first sports cars. We kind of came up with this as an ideal mm -hmm. uh, list. It's kind of like, you know, what's first, you know, what first pops up yeah. into our head. You know, obviously for first sports cars, we're thinking um, younger kids that are just getting their licenses and pretty much like their parents are, you know, the kid wants a sports car and the parents are trying to get them something nice. So, I mean, under 15 grand, our first one on, on our list was the actual Mitsubishi Eclipse mm -hmm. um, and the Eclipse GSX or the Eagle Talon TSI. Yes. Yep. So, for those three cars, they are actually pretty decent because yeah. the Eclipse does come in a four-cylinder mm -hmm. and also a six-cylinder. Yeah. And I'm telling you that six-cylinder is beefy. Like, it's actually pretty nice for a four sports car. It sounds yeah. good. You put an exhaust on it, and it sounds pretty mm -hmm. good. But I see, a lot, a lot of people also go for that, cause it, just because of the turbocharge. A lot of kids also love They're the not turbocharged, though. They're, they're not, not? They're not. They're the, naturally the aspirated. Ones. The four fingers I thought were. Really? Or no? I don't think so. Okay. I think they're naturally aspirated four cylinders. Oh, okay. Uh, the GSX is turbo, though. The GSX is. Yes. Yes, that's, that's an all wheel drive, also. Yes. Yeah. And I think the T Eagle Talon TSI is too. Okay. You know? Do um, you want to look that up real quick? Yeah, I can. Let, let's double check because we don't want to give any false information. Yeah. Well, I mean, still don't. Wait, I mean, the Eclipse, it, has, has, it looks good. Yeah. I mean, for people that like don't really know much about cars, like, it, you, you, you could pass it off as a very high higher-end like sports car. Yes. Actually, your wife had an Eclipse. Yes, and I was actually <laughs> just about to get to that. My wife actually had a 2001 Eclipse GT V6. Um, it was automatic, and, but I mean, she loves it, or she loved it. We don't have it right now. Um, for her first car, like her first bot car, she mm -hmm. actually still enjoys it. Like she's like, if I could get it back, she would. You know, that that's her pretty much like her go-to sports car. I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty quick on the up and go mm -hmm. um, for being the four, uh, the the the. It was a V6, but what's the displacement? Is that three point five? Somewhere Something yeah. like that, I think, yeah. right? <laughs> so, I mean, it's a pretty nice engine. Yeah. And um, reliability-wise, it was pretty good. Okay. It, it didn't have much issues. Yeah. If you didn't take care of it, though, then it's over it would definitely... It, bits and pieces will start coming at you. Yeah. Um, but, like, so let's go back. So, so I think the four-cylinder is, is naturally aspirated. Yeah, it is. It is. Yep. yep. 
Told you. So it's a natural for the force under two point Yeah. But I mean, still, you put a turbo in it. Kids want oh, yeah. to do that. I mean, shoot, you get a stock two point yeah. e, uh, Eclipse GSX or not okay. GSX Eclipse. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so you, and I'm going to bring this up, right? <laughs> Excuse me, I have the coronavirus. I I don't have coronavirus. I'm sorry, but <laughs> but okay. So six feet away. <laughs> 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 but okay, so remember remember the original Need for Speed Underground game? Oh when, yes, yo, and that opening, yeah, was in the Eclipse. <laughs> That that right there is what made me love, have a huge passion and love for the for the nine like eight clips at yes. the time. I'm like, yo, that that right there, like when as it was driving on the street, it was like adding a little turbocharger to intake yep. and exhaust. Oh, like, yo, yes. that was wheels, paint, wide body. <laughs> I mean, that was sick. And then you know the thing is, is these kind of cars, you mm-hmm. got unimaginable tuning. Yeah. Oh yeah. And oh yeah. Aftermarket parts. Mm-hmm. You know, Hell, that, like that? that one we looked at, what, that dude did a four G sixty three swap on it. It was all wheel drive. He yes. actually added the, the the evil what eight evil, evil nine evil nine, evil nine my vec my vec head oh the whole God. entire and he did That's a fifty eight fifty eight turbo on it six hundred and thirty horsepower. That is insane. Out of, a, out of a little Eclipse, and it was the same year that my wife had two thousand and one two thousand two. Yeah, and I'm like that body style, mm-hmm. and he put an evil nine engine in it, and it was a it was a five speed yeah. manual, manual transmission, mm-hmm. but still, I mean, you're getting six hundred thirty yeah. horsepower out of a car that's. Yeah. 3,000 to 3,300 pounds. It's a lightweight car. And remember... So, remember when Jesse had his Eclipse? Like, Nadia loved that car. Oh, yes. And I mean, like, it was... And sadly, it was wrecked by his mom. Rest in peace, Eclipse. Oh, man. <laughs> if you're watching this right now... Yeah. Brother, I, I feel for you. Yeah. We were sorry to hear that. But, I mean... <laughs> and, and like, you know me. I don't, I don't like... I don't like many four banger cars, no. but I love that Eclipse. Like that, that I thing, think his was a V six too. It was yes, but but still, like, don't four, like, four, four yeah. banger you know, cars. I don't really like four banger cars too much, but yeah. like Eclipse is the amount of like work that you can put into it and make yeah. it, and not really not really put that much money into it. It still put a lot of work in, obviously. Yeah, you can make it again, like you said, like you said, six hundred. Five five hundred sixty horsepower all day long without, without having yeah, that extra drive because those heads mm-hmm. are strong. Like they yeah. are made to be, you know, to to push and to to get boosted. You yeah. know, that's oh, the thing. Yeah. Their their engines are strong. That's what Mitsubishi was made mm-hmm. named for. Yeah, they're they're four cylinder beast. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, well mainly they're Evo with the four G sixty three. Yeah, but still, I mean, still, an Eclipse was um was basically the starter of all. Like the DSM, yeah. the DSM yeah. was basically the starter of pretty much tuner heads. Mm-hmm. Well, I think because, like you said, Need for Speed Underground oh, first yeah. car that popped up was an. And I, I think Eclipse. that's what really made yeah. between that and, to, and Fast and the uh, first Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious when he had the green Eclipse. Yep, yep. and yep. I think those two things is what made the Eclipse as big and popular as it is. Yes, today. and rest in peace, Paul Walker. Yeah. We really miss you. Jeez, that's a that's a hard topic. Yeah, um, really thinking is. about Paul Walker and stuff. I like mean, that. going back to it, and I hate to say, it, but like when my dad came to me and said, "When are your Fast and Furious guys?" I'm like, "Who?" I'm like, "There's no way." And I saw this in like red red, red Porsche Carrera GT crash with Roger Rose, and they said Paul Walker. I'm like, "No, yes. no way." Oh, I know. Like I honestly that, like that, I that, that hit us deep. Yeah. Like I was actually in boot camp in the Marine mm-hmm. Corps, and you know, just mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of tears. Yeah. Like we were we were beat. I and mean, exactly, it was, especially watching the the movie where they had the little. I'm like, yeah, I oh, I yeah. just bawled. Oh yeah, I yeah that, that seventh one. Yeah, when yeah. they split, and I was like, oh, <laughs> you can't do this to me right now. <laughs> like Fast and Furious, what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> I, I just I, but, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, but um, definitely rest in peace, Paul Walker. Mm-hmm. We hope you know we're, we're praying for our family. So oh, yeah. you know all 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 well for his family. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, anyways, back to the conversation yeah, of Eclipse. Yeah. I mean, that, that was a big topic, yeah. and you know, still nowadays, I will, I like that bubble body style. It's you very know, iconic. It's, it's very iconic. iconic. Yeah. Yes, and they got that one side of the hood where it's, yes. where it's scooped up. But see, okay, so a lot, <laughs> when I was a kid, right, I used to always because my, my sister had a the Sebring from this era, but it had it had the, the bubble hood scoop on it. Not just but the bubble hood, I guess if you will. Oh, I yeah, would yeah. always think a car that had that. I was like. Four years old, right? <laughs> I was like, "It's turbo, it's turbo." <laughs> that thing was natural. It was the slowest car in the world, but I was like, "It was." I, I love that car. We got a car guy from the heart. As a kid, it's turbo. I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I was wrong, baby. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> but you know what? We have those moments. Yeah. We, oh, yeah. we, we, we as kids grow mm-hmm. up and we're just like, yeah. oh my God, that's got to be it. Yep. You know? And yeah. we love them from you know, any car. Yeah. You know, mad respect to those guys who have their cars, you know, however they want to do oh, it. Yeah. It's a car community. It's mm-hmm. not about, you know, who's souping what up, who's souping what yeah. up. You know, it's just like, it's your style. You do what you want with your car and just everyone should appreciate Mine what you do. Mine is the Stamps Boys that have the wheels <laughs> like this. Like, that's just, I'm sorry, you guys. If you have your wheels, like, I get, if you lower your car, that's fine. My camera is lowered, but my wheels are not at a, like, a 10 degree angle. Right. Like, <laughs> again, like I said, we can't bash them. It's their style. It, it's ridiculous, but again, we can't bash them. It's your style. Just, you do what you want with your car. I'm the word ridiculous. I'm done. What's <laughs> <laughs> <I'll> told you? <laughs> so. Come from the guy wearing a Hawaiian shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you got the, you got the GSX, the all-wheel yes. drive Eclipse that came out of factory, which well, what, was... And it was basically, basically an Evo, right? It basically was an Evo. Okay. And it was in a smaller body, too, mm-hmm. yeah. which was nice. And I still, to this day, if I could get my hands on one of them, mm-hmm. I would. I, I totally would. Hell yeah. You know That's... what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, you know, and I just kind of mentioned this just mm-hmm. now, the Eagle Talon TSI. Yes. I honestly don't know about that one. Those, those I, they're, the they're still nice. They were the underdogs. Yeah. I just didn't like their body style because it was the A way lot the of people did didn't. It. Yeah. Because, and, but the, 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 the good thing about the Eagle Talon, though, is everybody overlooked it. Everybody only, only went to the Eclipse. You can right. buy Eagle Talon for like three, four thousand dollars It's the same. It's the same exact transmission drivetrain as the GSXs. Yeah. So, I mean, if you buy an Eagle Talon, you basically have a GSX. It's yeah. Just, it's us the, here. This, yeah, it's just the body style. Yeah. The thing is, is that the GSX was known for that bubble yeah. style, style body. Like, mm-hmm. it had that, that kind of fat bubble in the back, mm-hmm. and it's got that, that weird, like, that, that big real weird, wing. That real wing that yeah. kind of comes up and around. Yeah. Yeah. That was nice. Like, I like that. The mm-hmm. Eagle Talon was more so, like, kind of angular. Yeah. You know, it was more so kind of like. Uh, I mean, they also had they also had an Eagle Talon that was basically the body off from the Eclipse, but it still had that, like. You're that right. 90s, like, wide yeah. Yeah, yeah, wing yeah, on yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right about that. So, what's so, that too? So, yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of... I If I, like, even the, nowadays, if, if I could get my hands on an Eclipse or an mm-hmm. Eclipse GSX, oh, yeah. I would totally get one. Yeah. So, that was, that's that. I mean, mm-hmm. I totally agree that, I mean, that's a good first starter car. Oh, yeah. And especially, like, if you want to learn stick shift, mm-hmm. oh, that's a good yeah. car to learn on. Because the, the clutches, they're, they're, if you get a stock one, they're not hard. Mm-hmm. They're, you're able to kind of learn on them quick. Mm-hmm. And number two... um, it's just an easy car to learn on, especially mm-hmm. with gas mileage, fuel economy. Yeah. I mean, they get good gas mileage. Unless it's tuned and you're doing all the wicked stuff, yeah. Yeah, you just throw the gas <laughs> mileage out the door. As a kid, you I mean, miles te- per gallon, though. <laughs> 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 Pretty much. Like, you really look at it. Yeah. So, okay, on to our next car. Mm-hmm. So, we got a Mustang. Crowd killer. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Cookie. <laughs> yeah. So my brother, he has a 2013 Mustang GT50. He's got the Coyote in it. It's, it's a really nice Mustang. I love it. Uh, sounds good because he's got the X pipes on it, and uh, he's got a K and N front tour on it. Uh, he's got the track suspension, so he's got a little bit, a little bit into it. Um, but again. But it was still pretty expensive. Too. That he's got a 2013. Yeah. Now we're talking like you know under 15. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Models. Like yeah. yeah. Now we can't go SVT Terminator. That's well, well, that thing. You is, can, but a very, uh, very, very high mileage example. Maybe. Those, those, but still, those are still collector cars because yeah, 2004, two, like 2004 is when they had that SVT Terminator, mm-hmm. and that was a beast of yeah. a car. Oh yeah. And you know, thinking about it, from a a parent's perspective, like, I'm not a parent at all. Like, I don't have any kids yeah. yet. And, you know, soon enough, inshallah, I will have kids. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, is that um, a V8, throwing a kid into a V8 as a parent is kind of scary. Really? You know what I mean? Like, knowing that, you, okay, can he handle that car? Is he going to come back alive? T- type of thing. Yeah, like, you I know, get you kind of worry those things. Yeah, I get it. Now, unless you've properly trained. Trained him to drive, like yeah. you know, on a track, and understood how car performance works mm-hmm. and stuff like that. As you know, growing up, and yeah. they they understand that not all cars are supposed to be a track on the highway. Yeah, you know what I mean. Then maybe I can understand to get that, like you know, they're able to get a V eight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. But nowadays, you get even like the the four cylinder Mustangs. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, but don't. <laughs> At Darius, don't don't do it. All right, <laughs> six cylinder or four cylinder, you know Mustangs. I just I don't. 
Some, I don't classify them as muscle cars, technically. They're not. They're not. But, I mean... Sports cars, I could see. Yes. But, again, like, I, I get where you're coming from about the eight, the eight cylinder standpoint of it. But, so, okay, so, like, let's take me for example. I learned how to drive... I learned how to... Well, drive basically three cars when I was growing up, right? Mm-hmm. I learned in our show with GT500 Super Snake. I also learned my dad's 53 Ford... Uh, custom with oh, three on a tree. Yeah. And I also learned my dad's um, Denali, XO Denali. And so, I mean, all those are obviously V8s. Yeah. And I mean, it's just, if you teach, like, like you said, if you teach if your you kid teach. how to drive it. Right. And don't take the power for granted all the time. Right. Then I can see, because that, and a lot of times kids will happen to, I'll, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. When I first was learning how to drive, I was in, in the uh, Denali, right? Mm-hmm. And my dad was with me. I was, I think I just turned 15 and a half. I just got my 10th. And so you were leaving from a light, and at the time, I didn't know, again, like, I often play video games all the time, but I didn't know exactly how to really drive a car for the most part. So, you know, because you just, you just floor, floor. Yeah, you just have to roll. And keep in mind, my, my dad's not, the Nolly was modified too, so it was pushing quite a bit of power through it. And I mean, I floored it, and I mean, I didn't mean to do it, but like, all of a sudden, like, both of our necks just like snapped out like this, and I'm like, yo, like, I. <laughs> We gotta redo this entire situation right now, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, under, yeah, as a parent, sometimes some of them just want to give them their license. Yeah, and you know, it's it's understandable because mm-hmm. you're just like, you know what? They learned. They're okay. Yeah. they're okay to drive because they understand the rules of the road. Well, yeah, at the same also. time, the car. Yes. So, like, you throw this kid into a V8, and they just got their license. Mm-hmm. Of course, they're gonna abuse the power because yeah. you know they're like, oh, I just got a V8. I can race everyone on yeah. the street. I can beat you, right? Mm-hmm. That it's 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 the inevitable because yeah. that's the thing. As a kid, and you know, you're growing up, and you're like seeing people with all these different cars, mm-hmm. and you're just like, I want to race that person. Yeah. You know, it, it's scary to think about that. Like, yeah. if he can handle it, sure, go ahead by all means. But if I was a father or something like that, I would first teach them and mm-hmm. understand the responsibilities. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying you parents are not doing your job. I'm not saying that yeah. by any means. It's just a matter of fact that you know, is it responsible enough? Yeah. Yet? Or you know, things like that. Yeah. So Hell, I, was, I was in my, my little contour that I had back when I was <laughs> racing around it. <laughs> <laughs> and I had my red one too. I'm like, yep, I'm in a supercharged furry and I'm just, just going to keep racing. Right. I, mean, I, was, I was young, dumb, and everything else back then too. But I'm like, yep. and not happening to come around. I'm like, this is a whole different ballgame right yep. now. Like, it's, oh, yeah. But, but I mean, it's just, like you said, it's just basically learning not only the rules of the road, but also learning how your car reacts in different situations. Yeah. Like, for instance... Front wheel drive obviously handles different than rear wheel drive and all wheel drive cars. Yeah. So it's it's yep. a matter of just basically knowing your car yeah. like you should. Like you ever seen the meme that was, <laughs> the cars meme? Cars. Where cars, oh, cars yeah. run, yep. where he's in the grass yep. drifting and he's like rear wheel drive, yeah, yeah. Yep. drive yep. and then you go all wheel drive up front. Wheel front wheel drive. Wheel <laughs> <laughs> It's the Danica and the Daytona. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's a perfect example of yeah. how people will drive real drive mm-hmm. cars. They're, they're always wanting them sideways. Yep. And that's so. me. <laughs> if you guys know me, how, how I drive my Camaro, I'm always sideways in my car. I, I just like, I like thrashing that car around. <laughs> responsibly. Yes. Yes, responsibly. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> so, kind of going back to the Mustangs. I mean, you got Mustangs. You got the... Mm. Older Mustangs, like 2000 eras, 2003. Yeah, like, like the new edge style, like, stuff like that. Kind of like a newer edge style. Yeah. You can get the 2005, too, and it's still oh, yeah. get it under 15. Yeah, oh, yeah, all day and long. They come stick, they mm-hmm. come automatic. Whatever, you know, you got feasible for your kid or see, for a sports car. I, I would honestly say if you wanted to buy a V8 rear-wheel drive muscle car, either get the new edge GT for like the, the, the 2000s to like 2000. Three two thousand four models, and then you also have the generation after that. I'm sorry, I can't remember what it, what it was called because those were are, were the well, the original ones were the two valve V8s, right? So they didn't have any power whatsoever, right? At all, but it, it had that V8 rumble to it, and those were like the most iconic V8s back in that time, right? And it had the V8 rumble, and it also had where you can sort of modify, you, you can get to learn how to do a lot of stuff. Plus, they could also, I mean, so if I were if I had a kid and he asked me if I could buy him, you know, his first. Sports car, right? Mm-hmm. I would strongly consider getting him like a new edge um, GT because there's no power to it. So you, you can learn how to build onto it, and you know, keep right learning how to drive in different situations, right? So, and like I said, hell, at the time, V6 or V6 is now more power than that car did. Ever yeah, did. yeah, so, that's true. Yeah. So I mean, again, it just kind of falls down to. <clears throat> 
what the kid wants. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, do they want the V8? Do they want a four cylinder? Do yeah. they want a six cylinder? Do they want something cool? Do they want something kind of classic? I'm the parents. You know like, I'm going to get, get you a safe car. Right. Like, As a parent, like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm not believing that. <laughs> <laughs> Or so, like civic or something. Uh, so, like, you know, the character, like, you know, categories. You got the mm-hmm. Mustang Camaro and the Challenger. Yeah. Or Charger. But see, the, see, okay, the Charger is a whole, see, to me, I like the, char- I, I like the 2005, 2006 Charger. It wasn't built, it wasn't, quality-wise, it wasn't yeah. there. How reliability, and if you want to have somewhat powerful and decent on power and gas, too, I, yeah, I do like that. It's all right. Yeah. You know what I mean? They weren't built for... Much, no, you know no, what I mean. No. They weren't, but they're, they're also much. cheap as hell too. They're, that's why. That's yeah. why they're cheap. Yeah. You know what I mean. So that's what I'm saying. Like as those categories, you're still getting V8s. Yeah. But you know, for a first sports car, I mean, I don't technically consider Charger sports because it's a four door saloon. But you know, it's, it's, like a it's, car. it's a muscle, yeah. muscle car sedan. Yeah. You know, it's kind of weird. Like the E, like the E55 at the time. Right. Yeah. The E55 AMG. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you got these kind of cars, mm-hmm. but um, it's just like. For a first sports car, you kind of thinking two door. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I guess I guess let me ask you this now, because this is a question that goes through everybody's head, and I'm sorry, Mazda owners, all right. Miatas. Is that a sports car to you? I think so. Really? Because they are used very well on the track. But they have no power. What it's power? not about power technically. It's about how the car handles. Okay. Because the car was built mainly to have fun on a track and still go 100 miles an hour on a corner. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's made okay. for that kind of handling. It's a different experience, I would say. Okay. Does that make sense? So, I mean, you got you got your V8 Mustang, mm-hmm. and it's sliding around corners. You know yeah, what I mean? Fun, you yeah. got, it's fun. Yeah. But the thing is, like, is it safe? And, you know what I mean? I like, if you're not trained. Let's yeah. just put it this yeah, way. If you're it. not trained. And even a Miata, like, I mean, they're only, what, 165 horsepower? Mm, they're less than... So maybe hell, now. Even, even the older ones are, like, maybe 100 crank horsepower. <laughs> they're so low. Yeah, but, it's over time. Yeah. It, they obviously, de- uh, you know, yeah. degrade over time. But, you know, a Miata, like, as a first sports car, it's stick, it's convertible, mm. it's lightweight. Yeah. You kind of want to do fun things to it. Again, it's, it's just, like, customizations, um, like... It's unbelievable. Yeah. You can do so much to it. And I cause I do feel like a lot of people like tracking those cars, too. Yes, a lot of people like tracking them. You can put cars. wide, fender, f- wide, wide yeah. fender flares on them and put, you know, fatter mm-hmm. tires. And, I mean, it's still, they, 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 they're they made to handle so well. Okay. Now, what's funny is the uh, Mazda Miata owners, I've seen this a lot, which mm-hmm. cracks me up, is when they do that little one-eye wink <laughs> with their headlight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny, you know what I mean? Like, it's... Things like that that make yeah. the car community funny, you know? Like, people find things out like that. Mm-hmm. So, as we're talking about the Miata family, or the Mazda family, and we have to, we're have we talking about the Charger, the Ford Yes. What do you think of the Mazda Speed 3 and the 6? Because the 3 is a, a wagon style, and the 6 is the, the, you know, sedan. I would say, okay, so, now, okay, go on to the Mazda Speed 3 real quick. Because, you know how we have, like, hot hatches, Right. Right. It's a certain type of buyer, I guess, okay. for hot hatch sports cars. Because I, I do feel that the Mazda Speed 3, at least, is a sports car. Right. Because, I mean, A, you get, you know, a high output 2.4 point, right. four. Four liter, 4 cylinder turbo charge. Right. I mean, it's, I would say, I would consider it a sports car, yes. Yeah. Um, it's not the rotary. No. I would, so, I, would, I would take a speed through over any rotary all day long. Reli- I don't know. Reliability I mean, iconic, wise. Reliability wise, yes. Because yes. they have horrible. When their apex yeah. seals go out, yeah, oh my right. god, here you go. <laughs> but again, I mean, you got RX-7. Now, this is an under 15 grand. An RX-7 is not under yeah, 15 grand. You can, yeah. but they, they're very hard to find. Yeah. RX-7s. You, mm. know? you can get American, like the, the not the right-hand drive RX-7s, uh, but you know the American-made RX-7s. Yeah. And like the older model, like the the eighties, eighty sixes, FC, FC, the okay. type, the FC RX sevens, they you could get those probably around you know five grand depending yeah. on you know who has it and what's been done to it. If it's mm-hmm. stock, yeah, definitely five yeah. grand. But still, again, like it's an RX seven and it's a rotary. Yeah. Wait, are the FCs rotaries? I think they are. They're all rotaries, aren't they? Double check. 
I know, I know again, we, we're gonna yeah. <laughs> check this out because I know, we don't want to give we, you guys false. Not the FD, the FC. I know the FD is because that that's the iconic RX7 Spirit R. Yeah. And you know you got that that really nice uh, bubble body. Yeah. You know that was the Han. thing. Han. Yes. The, 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 yeah. The vial side, the vial side. Yeah, the uh, the vial side F uh, the FD. Mm -hmm. Veil side, I think is what it's called. Veil side. Ve veil, veil. I think it's veil. Veil side. V e i l f i d. I know yeah. how to spell. I think it's veil. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know how to spell a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was rotary. A two point four liter uh, Renko rotary. Yeah, so it was rotary. Yep. Okay. Well, see, there we go. At least we're we're somewhat knowledgeable on that. <laughs> <laughs> You're so, more of the Japanese guy. I'm more American. Most of the right. time. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, you got those kind of cards. Like this, uh, obviously, the new generation. You got the Speed Three and mm -hmm. the Speed Six. Well, okay, I, I'm sorry to cut you off real quick, but let me yeah, ask you good. this. So now we're on sports cars and else. What do you think classifies a car as a sports car? I think it's more so you get the performance, mm -hmm. handling, and kind of like the categories of either two door or turbo or something like that whatever so it's like exciting more most right time. more so exciting like you can't just pick it up on the left side of the street yeah. and just say i want to race it like yeah. not a, a camry definitely no a corolla no a um you, you know those are just kind of like e economical cars mm -hmm. like you know those kind of cars no sports cars i consider someone that um you can tune mm -hmm. and i mean like again you can tune any car on the street yeah you really can uh, but to classify a sports car or something that's fun, it's out of the factory, built kind of for the racing environment. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, two-door, I mean, there are four-doors. Like I said, again, the Mazda Speed 3 yeah. and Speed 6, there are four-doors out yeah. there. Um, but again, it's for the racing aspect. Okay. Like, out of factory. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I consider a sports car. Okay. So, I mean, what do you think? I mean, really, it, that's honestly like a very hard question to answer. Yeah. I mean, because, tell me if you think about it, a Challenger a Demon could be a sports car, but really it's a, mu it's a, a muscle car, if you think about it, or a Hellcat. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it all really depends. To me, a sports car is any, like, two-door, four-door car that's fun to drive. Um, you, t like you, say, you can take it on the track, have the thrash run all day long and drive it back home after that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, too, you can consider a muscle car a sports car, so it, it sort of... It's, it's, it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, so it's, it's sort of one of those like hard questions. Kinda, yeah, it's kind of like it's got a broad, yeah, broad spectrum. Because, because a muscle car can be a sports car, but a sports car can be a muscle car. Right, right. right. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying here. Yeah, because a muscle's made for depending on how V8 right, like two door, Mustang, seats, Camaro, yeah. Challengers, yeah, Chargers. Because the Charger I is a muscle car. It is a muscle yeah. car. I guess. I mean, if you get like an SRT charger, SRT eight charger, or something like that, yeah. that's, that's considered a muscle car because it's it's made for drag racing. Or a pony. I, I see a pony car. Pony car is slightly different than a muscle car. Okay. Pony car is more of like you have that modern aspect of that big V eight up front, but you also golf through the four doors and four, mm. four or five seats, whatever. You want yeah, to you see what I'm saying? Like sports cars a very broad spectrum. Yeah. Like it, it's it's. It's hard. I, I think, in my opinion, it is mm -hmm. like just from the factory race ready, yeah. kinda, in a sense. Okay. Not a supercar or a hypercar. You know, oh, those are kind of a whole different spectrum. Yeah. But a sports car, like safe for like a younger generation to just hop in and say, mm -hmm. "Hey, I got a nice car. Like, you know, I got okay. a fun car to drive." Okay. And something like that. That's what I think. Okay. Um, speaking about that, like you know, sports car like an Audi TT. Yeah. I can or see an that. A5. Yeah. You know, it, like. Honorable mention, the S5. Yes. It's, it's still a little pricey for an S5. But it's only a couple hundred dollars over that. Yeah. So I mean, over, over the 15 dollars dollar threshold right now, I mean, that's... I could, I could sort of justify spending a couple extra hundred dollars for that 4.2 liter 400 horsepower V8 that you still yeah. get with it, too. And yeah. all-wheel drive. Yeah. Like, that. And then it comes on stick or automatic, yeah. whichever yep. you prefer, you know. And it's basically, it's basically a detuned Audi R8, in my opinion. Yeah, because it's got the same game. motor, yeah, same, same motor. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, that could actually be somewhat yeah. pretty good. So I mean, that's the thing. Like, from the factory, they're made to have fun. Mm -hmm. You know, and, like, yeah. the TT I think rivals against the Miata. Yeah, and just like the SLK Mercedes Benz. Yeah, like those three cars, I think rival against each other. And I, you know, I actually owned a 2002 mm -hmm. SLK 230 compressor. Fun car. I mean, I loved it. Uh, now it's actually with my dad. He he has it, and uh, my brother's driving it around. And mm -hmm. I mean, they have a blast in that car. The, you put that top down; it's a hard top. That's mm -hmm. what I love about that yeah. car. 
It has a hard top. Yeah. You know, it's not the soft top uh, convertible because I hate soft tops. Mm-hmm. Anybody can actually honestly tear into the soft top and bam, get your stuff stolen. Yeah. Um, and number two, I think the soft top's un- un- it's unattractive. Really? You know, I think it, it's it just doesn't look good. I think the hard top like was SLK's like best thing that they had. Like, it was a yeah. hard top. Yeah. And on top of that, it's a convertible. Yeah. Like. You can make it look like a coupe, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you put that top down, and it means people like it's a convertible. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's, it's and it's nimble. Like the car is nimble. It's oh, yeah. great around corners. It's fast. That supercharger kicks in. And you mm-hmm. can hear that supercharger whine. Not like your <laughs> red line, though. Your red line was a whole different <laughs> different ball game. But that's okay. Car. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Like the, that's probably those kind of car, those kind of cars. I consider mm-hmm. sports cars in a different spectrum. Okay. Know? Like, more so handling. Not power-wise, yeah. but handling. Okay. So. I mean, yeah. Not the A5. The A5 was still, I mean, that A5 or S5, those cars. Oh, yeah, that's a whole different That's a whole different volume. Yeah. The A5's got the V6 in mm-hmm. it. But the A5 has a 2.0 t- uh, turbo. Oh, you're right. Yep. You're right, you're right, you're right, right. Um, and not, as we're talking about Audi, I mean, there's another group. And I love Porsche. You know, I really do. But... I will agree with you, the Boxer and the Cayman. Yeah, no, I'm not a huge fan of those. Now, I do like the new Cayman GT4, but, but that's, that's also... Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're looking at $110,000. <laughs> right. We're talking a little bit special. <laughs> but under fifteen grand, I mean, you can still get these cars. You got a Boxster or a Cayman. If you yeah, still kind of but... want, like, the Porsche name... You want the Porsche name, you know what I mean? Just to, just to drive around, but there's much better options out there. But, yes, I agree. I uh, agree. Yeah. I I don't like the Boxster. I don't like the shape. It's a lot more feminine. Yes. And, you know that's the thing. Like it has a well, weird. I, also, body before style. You, we're not being sexist in any way, shape, or form. Porsche even yes. said it's more of a feminine type of car too. So yeah, do not go into comments saying oh they're they're sexist. I don't want to hear that. All right. <laughs> 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 So, I mean, so going, going back to the Boxster and Cayman. Oh, man. I, I yeah. I, I, personally, me, I wouldn't want to buy one. No, I wouldn't buy one. I, I'm a Porsche fanatic. I love Porsche. I love the 911. I love the Panamera. I love the Taycan. I love the Same Cayman. Macan. <laughs> you gotta just interrupt me, you know what I mean? Jeez. <laughs> Him and I always argue about yeah, he, he, will argue, <laughs> he will always argue about me a pop horse because he said the design team sucks. Sure, yeah, then okay, you get fired. whatever. But you know, to be honest, I love it. Stay, just do what you're doing. Okay. Um, again, the Boxster and the Cayman mm-hmm. under 15 grand. It's not bad for a first car because it's not extreme power. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's the thing. Like they're they're not extreme power. They're they're fun to drive. They're handling. Yeah, but. Still, it's just more so you're paying for the name. Like, you, if you want kind of like a, if you want to kind of feel kind of oh, pricey, like and if, kind if, of, if somebody asks like, what kind of car you're going, you get, I want a Porsche. Don't, don't tell me what kind of trim, like right. model is. Like, I want a Porsche. Want you little, know what I mean? You 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 I liked it. Of, of 1999? I liked it. I, I, I saw like Oh, yeah, it's a 911, too. Right. It's a different body style. No, it's the same body style. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same body style. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Okay. But, again, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not a bad car. Yeah. It's, it's not really something that you want to... Like, I like, wouldn't like, be again, it's, like the H, it's, it's got the same H, H pattern engine, and it still has that poor sound to it. I just, I mean, I agree with you. I want to buy one. Yeah. I physically want to buy one. I want to buy a boxer. I don't like the shape of them. Mm-hmm. I don't like them at all. But still, for a first sports car, it's feasible. For yeah. anyone that's out there, anybody that actually likes it, excuse me, or thinks it's a good car, mm-hmm. hey, all being sued, you go ahead and drive it. Yeah. It's, it's still... It's still a decent car under fifteen grand. Yeah, you know what I mean. Reliability aspect probably not because again it was Porsche and in those early years they were still kind of more so kind of factoring in speed and gotcha. all that other stuff. So yeah. I don't know about reliability of that. Uh, K Man, same situation. Honestly, it's just the same situation. So I mean, for Porsche, 
it's just if you want to have the name and you kind of want to drive around something sporty, mm-hmm. I think that's another option. Okay. You know. What do you want to be? It's just I don't I don't know because I just I mean you know me I I I like Porsche engineering right. It's just. It's, it's, when they came out with the I, Boxster, I, I don't it. know. I just even with the engineering of the Boxster, I I just yeah, I that looks horrible. Yes, it's 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 not it's not a, it's not adorable. It's a more so adorable. That's what it's, I'm saying. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> it's a, a complete two seater car. Yeah, there's no back. I mean, yeah, there's no back seats in it. Yeah, and I mean, you still get like I said, you still get the Porsche motor. And you get the sound. Yeah. There's just not enough power, and it's it's a good first sports car for either a first kid um, getting their license mm-hmm. or something kind of cool to kind of just drive around in. Yeah. Um, and you don't want to pay the big bucks of a Porsche. You know yeah. what I mean? You don't want to go and buy, like, the whole $30,000 Porsche 911 tur- yeah, uh, turbo, turbo from that year. You know, I even see, then, yeah. the turbo still is pretty pricey. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And I know they have a problem with their coolant lines, too. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. It's... So, that's what I'm saying. Like, certain cars like that, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, it's still not too bad. And it's still a rear-mounted engine. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's not bad. And some of them come with the wing. Mm-hmm. You know? It, it, it does have the automatic um, power rear wing. Uh, yeah. I... Yeah. Because the Boxster S. And it had the cool tail lights where the Boxster S actually had the complete red with the white. Yeah. And that was kind of cool. Um was it the Boxster S? Yeah, I see what you're talking about now. Where is it? How it has like the little like see it's still No like... no 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 no. The the tail lights were um complete red and white. It was oh! you know what I mean? I thought that actually looked kinda cool. Okay, I see what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Little intricate things maybe yeah. you want to look at it, you're like, I like that. Sure, go ahead, by all means. Um but okay, I think we've had enough talking about the Porsche. Porsche I mean, yeah. We're kind of bashing them <laughs> about the back. <laughs> um, so I mean, the next car we have on the list, the Nissan 350Z. And that I think is everybody's go-to. Yeah, because it's rear-wheel drive. You get the VQ motor. You yep. get modifying all day oh, long. Oh yes, I mean I, it was Tokyo Drift's one of their main cars yes, of the drifting. DK. DK. Drift King. <laughs> drift King. The Drift King. Yep. And so like I said, and I mean. Obviously, he shows them up in the Evo, though. Atta baby Evo. No, he doesn't. He shows, he shows them up in the, the Mustang. In the end. Oh, at the end. Yeah. But Mustang. I'm just saying, the Evo is still... Mustang for the win. <laughs> so what did it have? An RB26. All right, let's, let's, let, let's ignore that factor, okay? <laughs> it well, was a 67 Mustang, you don't need to add but it was an RB26. No, you, you, saw <laughs> <laughs> you saw the motor swap. You saw the motor swap. You witnessed them tweaking and turning the RV26. It sounded good. We don't, don't got to add the RV. It, it, it could have been, you know, uh, uh, an old school, like, 350 or 357 Windsor. Um, but the power distribution wasn't going to handle it for drifting. It wasn't going to do. So they stuck the RV26 from the Nissan Silvia. <laughs> Which, actually, I would I would love to have a Silvia. Oh, the S15? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, but back to the 350Z. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a good car. It sounds good. You put an exhaust on it, and yeah. they sound good. Like, I mean, they they have uh, multiple opportunities of customization. Mm-hmm. They, they have a array of yeah, op- oh, yeah. options. They have wide body kits, oh, ducktails yes. for it. Oh, yes. I mean, it's, it's, oh, okay, so you know, okay, I know this is sort of off top, but it's still the same company in a way. You know the Infinity G37? G35? G35. That Vader body kit with it though, oh, yo, and that was a mean car. Yeah, that's a and you can car. buy a G thirty five for less than fifteen thousand dollars. Yes, that's another good car. So, so I'm in like, the same characteristics of the Nissan mm-hmm. family, Infinity was obviously the the higher brand. Yes, yeah, because you know you, you got like you know Toyota and Lexus, yeah. Nissan Infinity, yeah. things like that. So I mean, it's still a good car. Oh yeah, Infinity G thirty five. They're fun. They're still they're mm-hmm. still you, they come six speed manual yep. or automatic. You know whatever which you prefer. But uh, the three fifty Z. For a beginner car, I think it's good. Okay. I mean, you you still get 300 horsepower in it, too. Yes. So you can still have it. And it's a rear-wheel drive mm-hmm. car. So I, I know a lot of times it'll do is that people will go out and buy the cheaper ones yeah. and learn how to drift. 
Yeah. And so I mean that's that's where a lot of times it comes in at, in the play at too. It's like if you if you're trying to learn how to do something, a three fifty Z all day long yeah. is like the best car to learn to learn how to do something. Oh yeah. And then obviously once you once you master that speed, then you move on up to, you know, one of the higher up big dog right. cars. Right. And have you seen actually the video of Donut Media? Shout out to Donut Media for mm-hmm. this, but you have you seen the video where they did the three fifty Z uh cheap parts and e uh yes. parts and the full yes. on high high and low, high and low. low. That was a pretty cool video. And, you know, comparisons, it wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can get cheap parts and still get good, like, effort out of the car. Yeah. Obviously, the cheaper parts won't last as long. Yeah. But, I mean, shout out, like, again, shout out to Donut Media for doing that. That was a pretty good little uh, thing they did. Uh, honestly, eventually, like, when we get some more money and stuff like that, I would love to do some more on the channel. Oh, yeah. That would be really cool, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, like, and plus, like, on top of that, too, like, it's just... This this is the go to car anyway for most like teenagers too. Yeah, it's, it's got a nice body yeah. style too, mm-hmm. and people like hearing the V six. Yeah, it, so. but safety wise, it's not very safe. No, whatsoever. No. actually, I think I think honestly, it, it was like one of the worst safety rated cars back in the day. Was it? I heard. I, lot, I honestly, I can't remember. I, I just lot, know that it wasn't good. Yeah, I, I heard a lot of people like died in car accidents with it, but. I don't think that should be a good first super score then for a kid. Parent wise. Parent wise. I mean, but like at the same time too, though, like it, it what people will do, they'll, they'll go on, if, if they're never going to race it to that extent, they're going to put roll cages in it. They're going yeah. to add extra. Uh, in, that's the thing, though. It. Like, if people think about that, yeah, because you know sometimes they do want to race it because they they have the V six mm-hmm. and they want to just test it out again. Yeah. It's it's the whole going back to are you responsible enough? Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah. If you're going to buy something like that, you better understand the consequences mm-hmm. of what you're going to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I agree. It's a good car, and but the safety ratings are still not as good. It's just it comes down to honestly what you want mm-hmm. and how you're gonna do it. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I completely agree with you there. So it, it's your consequences. Mm-hmm. It's what you do, and like I said, I'm not sitting here telling you what to do and what not to do. It's just it's more so like look after you for yourself, and you know there's always a family looking after mm-hmm. you. If yeah. you're going to do something stupid and something co- cost your life, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Look at who's caring for you and stuff yeah. like that. So it's kind of like so, more so don't put yourself in a sticky situation where you don't need to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. I said, with, with, great, how, what's the thing? with great power comes great responsibility. Yes. With well, Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back old school. Old school yeah. Spider-Man <laughs> with, uh, geez, what's his name? I forgot his name. Toby McGuire. Not, not Toby McGuire. Yeah. Wait, is it Toby McGuire? So So now I kinda wanna <laughs> This is like this is gonna be an interesting topic. Mm. <clears throat> Your previous car you owned, a Saturn Ion Redline. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so going to that car now, right? It was basically a concept version of the Cobalt SF. It came, it came out originally in 2004, right. a, about a year to a year and a half before the Cobalt SF came out. Right. They were, it was more so to gauge and see how the younger crowd would want to have a tuner car from GM. Right. It didn't do so hot the first couple of years because, I mean, everybody thought it was just a, uh, you know, sad, like, sad. What could right. Saturn do? What like, Saturn do? Like, what could Saturn do? What could Saturn do? I think oh, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pulls up in the, in the garage one day and he just kind of, like, shows me up a little bit. I was like, well, this is a Saturn. What is this thing going to do? And, um, you know, obviously I'm humbled by mm-hmm. the fact that that thing will literally keep you... In your seat. In your seat. <laughs> uh, it rips through, like, tires yeah. first, second, and then into third. Yeah. I mean, because you, you get that, that two-liter supercharged uh, um, four-cylinder. Yeah. And what happens is, like, once that blower, it, that blower, because, again, you have that all that power at, like, no RPM whatsoever. Yeah. So, I mean, once that blower is on, you're, just, you're gone. Like, yeah. It's just, it's just you're, you're spinning tires the entire way. Yeah. I mean, to me, and a lot of my friends would call it, it was... I was the front wheel drive version of a Dodge Viper. There, <laughs> there was no trash in that car whatsoever. There was no split in that car whatsoever. It was just you running a front wheel drive. Now think about it. If they made the car into a rear wheel drive car, you people would have problems. Yeah, they, I, they, that would have been an issue. Mm-hmm. But see, these you can buy those. And I bought mine with sixty one thousand miles on it for guess how much? Five grand less. Really? Yep. I bought it for three thousand dollars. Wow. And now think about it, this. This entire list is to go up to fifteen thousand dollars, right? If you really wanted to, I see people pushing six hundred horsepower all day with these cars on stock block. 
socket prints and everything. What they do is they turbo swap it, and then they'll also, um, the AS, you know, intakes like that exhaust. Mm -hmm. But they're pushing, you know, four or five, in a couple cases, 600 horsepower of these cars, a little four banger. Yeah. And it's beating, you know, Camaros. I, hell, I beat a Challenger of mine. Granted, it's a Challenger, <laughs> but I still beat a Challenger. Yeah. I mean, in a car that, that cost me $3,000. Yeah. Mine was pushing. So it's basically a sleeper in a sense. Yes. It, it's a rice out sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 had, just, it had the rear, the, the right style right, wing. Right, the big it, wing. Yeah, and, yeah. and since, since it was supercharged, you didn't hear any turbo. It, 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 it's like a fart came from the back. But as soon as you heard it, that, that, that blower one, it's like, oh, you, you know something's that's really what, coming. That's what, that's what hit me. Is he was like, all right, you know what, just send this out. We're going to go for it. I didn't hear the blower or nothing. You, you don't hear the blower. Mm -hmm. it just, it's, a, it's just a silent car. Like, I mean, if you have an exhaust on it, you'll hear it rumble. Yeah. But when, you, when you're when you pulling out and stuff like that, and then as soon as you put your foot on the, <laughs> when you put your foot on the floor, you will hear that yep. supercharger whine, mm -hmm. and it's ridiculous. <laughs> and I mean, it's music to your ears. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, woo. Oh my God! What is that? <laughs> so it's it's surprising. Mm -hmm. So would you recommend that car as a? Oh, first? without a doubt. Really? Without a doubt. Now I will say this. All right, the there, there's obviously a lot of problems with the car if you don't take care of it okay. because the transmission, the synchros will go out in a heartbeat. Like it's mm -hmm. it's. Remember that one night you and I were in Mexico, you were in the some fun with it, and I accidentally money shifted it from like fifth down to second by accident. Lucky the more didn't blow, but the synchros you could tell was starting to go out at that mm -hmm. point. I was like. Uh, Okay. Yeah, take care. Yeah, and then also on top of that too, I mean, if those things will like burn oil, like, there's no tomorrow. Like, it's just it's. Is it because of that blower? Yes and no. It's just it, again the, the motor is, has four internals that it has the oil pump in it. Not really the greatest. It's GM's, <laughs> it, it's GM's oil pump. I mean, it's not it's G the greatest oil pump out there. The intercooler pump will go out every single day. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's. They're very like itty, itty bitty tiny things that if you don't take care of the car, it will add to a lot in the end. Mm, okay. But if you take care of the car, like, you, know, you know me, I took care of mine. My, my head, you know, built motor had a bigger blower on it, right. probably anything else on it too. Right. And I mean, I drove the hell out of that car. Like, you oh, know how yeah. I drove the car. And I didn't have really any problem out of it. Like I said, when I started, you know, building it from that point, I was like, okay, well, let's let's just build it right now mm -hmm. and build it properly and let's see what we can do out of it. Mm -hmm. So like I said, my, when I sold mine, which I, would, I really wish I didn't sell mine, yeah. it had 94,000 miles on it. 94, 95,000 miles. So reliability miles at the end of the day is kind of like mix. Like you have to take care of it to... Yes. To actually kind yeah, of maintain and, and it. and that's honestly what mm. most Saturns, because my mom had a Saturn, it wasn't the red line, obviously, but she had a, a 97, like, SC something. But, I mean, and the head gas going out. Mm. But that was also, like, 120,000 miles, too. Okay. So, I mean, it's just a matter of, and, and Saturns will just guzzle oil. Mm. So, I mean, it's just a matter of, you, you, you have to really keep track of your oil level on it. If, if you do that, you should be fine. And like I said, make sure you, if you want to buy a Saturn Island Redline, just make sure you get one, hopefully, fingers across that's a comp model with the LSD in it, mm -hmm. and you'll be good to go, basically. Like yeah. I said, you put about five grand to that car, and you're pushing four or five, 500 horsepower, so you're beating Camaros, you're beating Evos, you're beating all these other, you know, higher end cars for, at the end of the day, roughly about $6,000 or so. Right. So, I mean. So it's a decent car to look oh, yeah. to, you know. I would, I would recommend it. It's mm -hmm. fun. I mean, just listen to that blower one. Yeah, and, and, it, and it puts a smile on your face. Yeah, it's the ultimate sleeper out there. Yeah. So as you were talking, mm -hmm. uh, what you first mentioned was mm -hmm. the Cobalt SS. Yes. So. So it's like I said, it's basically the same car as the Cobalt SS. It's just the Cobalt's more mainstream, so you're gonna pay mm -hmm. a little bit more for Cobalt Cobalt. Right. But on top of that, too, the Cobalts came supercharged, and they also came turbocharged. Versus the red lines only came supercharged. Mm. So if you want that extra, you know, two hundred and sixty horsepower of stock, or if you if you got the GM stage tune on it about three hundred horsepower of stock, from a front wheel drive car, number one, torque's here for days. Like it, it's, oh, horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. It's <laughs> horrible. And I mean, and plus on top of that too, the, the turbo Cobalt SS also had launch control in it. Really? Yeah. I don't know that. There's, there's really a button in it that says launch control in it, and what you would do is. Basically, you know, I'm like, bro, you press the pressure button twice and it'll go into track build. Mm -hmm. You basically press the launch button and you'll just uh, dump the clutch and it'll just fucking go. It, it'll just go. Like, it's, it's it's gone. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's, I would say if you had a chance, buy one. Tune bigger turbo intake exhaust, and I, a lot of people are pushing, though, know, 400, 450 horsepower all day long. Mm -hmm. I always, there, there's this huge argument on the, 
the GM forms, you know, I and Redline forms, and also Cobalt forms. It says, you know, LSJ versus LNF, which is LSJ is the supercharged version. The LNF is the turbocharged version. Mm -hmm. People, it basically like, like the Camaro Mustang, it was bigger back, bigger back. the entire time. <laughs> yep. I personally prefer the LSJ because of the, the stronger internals. Right. A lot of people prefer the LNF because it's like, you get a turbocharger, you, you're all making faster than the LSJ. But, I mean, like, if you're going to modify, what a lot of people do, they put the LSJ block or LNF. Look the LNF, yeah. yeah, okay. Yep, so... I can see that. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know much about the Chevy Cobalt SS because I never really looked into it, yeah. nor did I have any infatuation with yeah. it. You know what I mean? Like, I never thought about, like, you know, these type of cars. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they're kind of sleepers. Yeah. Um, it's just, for a first sports car, it's something to look into. And It's, it's cheap. It's cheap. Yep. You know what I mean? And still, under 15 grand, mm -hmm. it's not bad. So, and I've seen, actually, when we went to, you know, import face-off mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago, I think, a couple yeah. years back. And we saw a red Cobalt SS, yeah. and you were, you were freaking out all about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, I mean, there's people that do work to these cars, mm -hmm. and they actually do look good. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's not like we hate the car. Mm -hmm. It's just more so, like I said, again, it's your style, what you're looking yeah. for, and, you know, what you want to do with your with your car. Mm -hmm. uh, so those, those are something to look into. So, I mean, I, I me personally, I wouldn't buy an SS, a Cobalt SS or an I, Saturn yeah. Iron Red Line. It's, it's, it's just because... Like, it's, it's, a, it's a love it or hate it car, basically. Right. It's well, more yeah. so like, if you owned it, you liked it. Yeah. Or if you owned it, you hated it. It's yeah. one or the other. Yeah. Um, I don't own one. I haven't owned one, but I've ridden in your yeah. Iron Red, uh, Saturn Iron Red Line. It's a pretty nice car. Like mm -hmm. I said, again, it's a nice car. It's quick. Um, it is very cheap, though. It's very cheap. Yeah, like it, and like again, it's your reliability wise, yeah. and stuff like that. You kind of have to more so take matters into your own hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, but if you got if you got someone that just basically wants a car and just thrash it around, oh, that's that's the go-to. It's cheap, and plus yeah. that too, like like the, like we were saying with three fifty Z. If you want to learn how to build the car yourself, that's the perfect platform to learn how to build it. Yeah, on. Because, like, I mean, it's an extra version yeah. V6 right now. Yeah. And then you can tune it, turbo it, do all the exhaust mm -hmm. and work stuff yourself. I mean, they're easy. The marketplace has mm -hmm. literally... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there goes the pencil. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so... The <laughs> The 350Z has a major platform yeah. of, you know, stuff out there. So, again, that's just, like I said, it's, mm -hmm. it kind of just falls down. Mm -hmm. um, so, on to, the, like, the last couple of cars we have. It's pretty much like a hype of everyone nowadays. Yeah. The Ford Focus ST. Yes. Yes and no. <laughs> I. That's what I think. That, that's a very, a very weird car to me. Yeah. Because... There's pro when it first came out, obviously the EcoBoost had a lot of problems. Yeah. So, I I don't know if I would recommend that car. I, w I would say yes and no. If you're looking at a car that's cheap and also modern at the same time, yeah, that's gonna be probably your best bet because you have a lot of the features that you have. You know, you have the uh, the Ford was it Sync whatever it's called that's yeah. still the same that's still yeah. in the car. You also have the uh, the Tudor turbocharged motor that's yep. in it. I mean, it, it's a pretty good car. Um, what what I heard, I don't, I don't know if it's for, for a fact or not, but what I've heard about that car is that it's basically a um, a uh, or depending, depending what year you get, um, it's basically a Vol uh, Volvo C. Remember those old five cylinder Volvo turbocharged cars? The C. The small ones. Yeah, the C thirties, whatever they're called. I think it's a C. Mm. Volvo C30, I think it is. Or C70. 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 So, I mean, it's, it's basically that. So... Is it C70? Yeah. Look it up real quick. Again. The, the Volvo C70 shares the same exact motor with the older um, Focus STs. Really? Yeah. I want to say it's a C70. I think it's a C70. It's a, it's a little hatchback looking one. No, no, no it's that's not, what I'm saying. Sorry. It's not the C70. C that's what I thought. The C70 was... C30? C30, C30, that's it. Yep. Okay. So, and that's it. It's five cylinders. And that's the old one. Now, the newer ones are four cylinder, you know, two liter, turbocharged. Um, I just, I don't know. It, it's a very iffy car to me. Mm. So, I, I, I don't, that would be. It, it, like, again, it kind of falls down if they want to kind of get in with the gang. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, I mean, a lot of people have, you know, Ford Focus STs. They mm -hmm. have them all about. Yeah. They're doing a lot of things with them and yep. stuff like that. So, I mean, you can grab yourself an ST mm -hmm. and, you know, do some work with it yourself or, you know, get it tuned and have yeah. fun with it. Yep. You know what I mean? Now, 
for over fifteen grand, will I actually buy that? Probably not. I, I don't think I, I don't think so. This because also, it's too mainstream. For it's me. too mainstream. Yeah. And every, like I mean, everybody has one. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's a bad car. It's just more so like Ford was trying to do something kind of interesting with their cars. Mm. And when they came out with the Focus ST, it was kind of like their their jump in their like in the tuner in, market. In the tuner market, yeah. you know what I mean. And, and you remember uh, what's his name? Jesus, brain fart. Hold on one second. Ken Block. Yes. Yeah. And he had his Ford Focus ST, mm. and he had that drift car. Yeah. Was it an ST or an RS? No, I think it was an ST at first, and then he had a complete like all-wheel drive system done really? to it. I'm pretty sure the first one he had. Yeah, I, I know the the Hoonigan Mustang, obviously. Yeah, of course you got the Hoonigan Mustang. Yeah. He had an STI. He had uh, the truck. Oh uh, no, yeah. no, it's an yeah. S- yeah, it's an ST. Okay. Project ST. I, I knew it was an ST. Okay. So um, it it we kind of kind of got the Ford into position of the tuner world. Yeah. Because he when he brought that car out, mm-hmm. not many people knew about it. Until he was drifting with it, mm-hmm. had fun with it. Yeah. But again, that car he has, it's over it's modified like, like heavily. Yes, like yeah. over a hundred thousand dollars in modifications. Yeah. Talk about all wheel drive system, wheels and tires, mm-hmm. uh, the motor, the, motor, motor. the interior is completely mm-hmm. stripped Gut out, gutted, off. roll cage, yep. and you know, he's got the sequential gearbox and yeah. everything like that. The the long handbrake, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? What's that called? The, the handbrake. That's a, the what's that? It's a special handbrake. I don't. Know, I always call it the drift brake. I don't know. The why. drift brake. Yeah. I, I honestly I don't know what it's called. If you guys know, put it in the comments. <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> but it's cool. I mean, mm-hmm. drift people like doing it. Like yeah. they have it. But again, it's just like. That's what put the Focus ST in mm-hmm. the market. Yeah. Because it's a hatchback. Mm-hmm. It's kind of new. Yeah. And people like it. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of an interesting car. Yeah. Um, now, you know, obviously they got the Ford Focus RS. Yeah. Before it was what? It was only available in Australia. Yeah, in England. In England. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. now it's available in America. Yeah. But there's only very well, few of them. They're not making it anymore now. No, they're not. Mm-hmm. But... Again, the RS I still, is. I still want to buy one of the daily. The RS is actually an interesting car, but yeah. you're not getting it under fifteen grand. Oh no! no okay, no. so <laughs> <laughs> if 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 you want something under fifteen grand, go with the ST. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's just I don't know. Like I, the body shape is kind of interesting too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, again, it's just I don't know. I don't know what I think about this car. I mean, That's what I'm saying. I mean, I like, so I guess looking at the ST, right? It, it's sort of an. I, I like the body. It's it's sort of aggressive. Yeah. Especially the newer ones, mm-hmm. it's just a matter of I. It's a, it's just too mainstream for me. Yeah. everybody everybody wants one. Everybody has one. Yeah, I mean, and when you see it, it's just like oh. It's, That's it's what I'm nasty. saying. It's a cheap car you can have, and you know, yeah. it's already boosted from factory. Yeah, and it's a Ford. It's, yeah. you know, it's there. Mm-hmm. So it just kind of rolls. Like I said, at the end of the day, it just rolls down what you want. Yeah, you know, and then finally, our last cars. There's two of them. Mm-hmm. The Hyundai Genesis and the Veloster Turbo. Veloster Turbo, no. Genesis, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the Genesis has a 3.8, and you know, uh, 3.8 V6, and yeah. they have the R spec, which is really nice, and it's it's from the factory. It's pretty nice. It's spec'd out. And yeah, you, yeah, you do get the 3.8 liter V6 and everything yeah. else. And like I said a lot of people they'll deal with it. Go out and modify, put a bigger turbo right. in it, yeah, of stuff course. like that. But the, the Veloster Turbo to me is just not really uh, a good car. Yeah. I've driven one and it, it felt cheap. I mean, it's cheap for a reason, obviously. Yeah. But I mean, I will give it this: one. those things will corner like a little mark. Of it, course, it's, it's meant to go around corners. You can tell. Okay. So I mean, <laughs> if, you, if you want to start a starter, you know, sports car, I guess I can sort of see it you know, for cheap. Mm-hmm. I guess I can sort of see the Veloster Turbo. It's just I don't like I don't like, I don't I don't like, like the body shape of it. Yeah. It, uh, it's funny. I call it a prehistoric dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Because it looks funny. Like, the yeah. front end's huge, yeah. and the back end kind of, like, it's got a bubble, but mm-hmm. it narrows down. Yeah. It's kind of weird but, to me. Also that, you also have that, that two-door and one-door right. thing. Right. That was, like, the Mazda RX-7 in 2004. They had that second door. Yeah, no, no. This has two doors on one side and one door on the other side. Yeah. Oh, but RX-7 had it on both sides. Yeah. But, again, like, but again, it's the same that's style. So, it's why would weird you want to do that? Me. Yeah. I don't if you're going to put it on one side, why not on the other yeah. side then? You know what I mean? Or make it two doors total and that's it. Or make yeah. it four doors total and that's it. Like, I don't understand why you're one. It's like two a three-door door, three door, three door hatchback, which is... It's weird. Literally a three-door hatchback. Because, yeah. you know, you can see, like, people have three-door hatchbacks. Mm-hmm. 
but like a, like a Honda Civic hatchback, but it's two doors and then the hatchback is the third door. Yeah. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. this one is literally a three door hatchback. hatchback. Yeah. Because it's got two two doors and mm-hmm. then that one, and yeah. it's it's still it's weird. Um, I mean, people might like the fact that the shape is the the shape. They might yeah. like the way it looks. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not to me. It's, it's not an ugly car. It's just the ugly thing about it is that that three door, like style. I don't like three door style. You, think, you, think really, you don't like it at all? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 to me at least, it's there's better options out there, yes. Yes. But will I buy one? No. No, I'm not in a million years will I ever buy one. <laughs> Look at that. That's weird. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, it's, and it's a Hyundai. <laughs> yeah. But the, the weird, to me, the weirdest thing is just, the, is just that that three door. Yeah. Whatever. I don't. I don't. I don't Didn't like your that. Saturn Iron Run have that too? It was four doors, but it had, it yeah. had the two court, the two back suicide doors. Yeah. So they, they they both opened up, not just one door. Oh, okay. So they both actually opened up. So I'm like, I would prefer that over this. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, and plus the Iron Redline has a supercharger, it has a blower yeah, on true. it. So of course you're gonna want that. That's true too. Um. But onto the Genesis. Onto now, the though. Genesis, though, that's a different story. Now, I would definitely recommend that car. Yeah. Honestly, I would even recommend the 2.0 Turbo one yeah. because I mean it's it, still quick. Yeah, and, and it's, it's much cheaper than 3.8 too. Right. The 3.8, you're mm-hmm. asking a little bit more because yeah. like, it, from the fact that it's the R spec. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So. I said those ones I would definitely recommend for yeah. sure, without a doubt, because I mean rear wheel drive, you still get you know decent amount of power in it. Um, I said, if you're, if you're trying to learn how to, you know, start off, you know, building your car or, you know, try to learn how to, you know, go out and track a car. These kind of cars are, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or good to kind of get your yeah. platform ready. Yeah. Again, you, to me, it's a Hyundai. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I have different preferences of cars. And that's the thing. Everybody has their own opinion of cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, you know, your opinion is your opinion. Of course. And I'm not going to say that your opinion's wrong. Because, oh, yeah, no, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, that's, that's not the case here. Yeah. I'm just saying that if I'm going to buy a sports car, I'm going to buy something that has pedigree, the race line history. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where I it's proven it. that this car was meant to race in. Yeah, but something too, like race cars are they're completely different than street cars. No, like a sports race, a street car. Oh, you know okay, what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, Audi has theirs and they have the S-Line series. Mm-hmm. You know, like okay. we said, the yeah. S5. Yeah. And that's like an honorable mention because that car is mm-hmm. rick- wickedly pretty fast. Yeah. If any, you can tune it, make it look good mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So, Audi, I, I-, I definitely go with Audi. Uh, Mitsubishi has their line up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, like we pretty much basically said, like those type of cars that have the pedigree of racing history in the line, mm-hmm. I, that's what I go with. Okay. Um, again, everybody has different views. They, mm-hmm. Some people think that the Genesis is a beautiful looking car. And I actually think yeah, it's a nice it's, it's looking really car. Nice. It's interesting. The mm-hmm. lines of it, the headlights look cool. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a it's got a real nice back end of it. Yeah. And, you know, the interior is really nice too. Mm-hmm. So now I think honestly, because you know how Genesis and Honda had that five liter V eight, I would have dumped that into this. <laughs> Will it fit? Actually, yeah. I think I think it's like one or two people that's done it so far. Really? Yeah, and it, it's actually like it. You wouldn't be able to tell that it was. A lot of people it is. It's just like it made it look stock. I'm like, I would have definitely bought that myself. To be completely honest with you. And automatic, right? No, that, that was that one. I don't know the other one was. I know the one was manual. Really? Yeah. A five liter V. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yo. And after Did you do a custom transmission probably to it or something yeah, like that? Because I, I, I thought the five liter V only came automatic. They were, they were automatic. So yeah. I don't. I don't know exactly what it. I don't know. That's so I went past a, a screen like post of it. Mm. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I liked it. And I just kept going. I mean, okay. it, it was still a Honda. I didn't really look, look deep right. into it. This is like about almost like four or five months ago too. Right, right, like, right. So I mean, like I said I. I really wish Honda Honda would have done the five liter. V8 that, that comes in, you know, the, the four door sedan, the four door Genesis, the four door Genesis sedans. Mm-hmm. That would be pretty good, I think. Yeah. And that would, I think that would arrival, you know, the Camaro and the Challenger and the Mustang right. pretty well. Yeah. And reli- I hear the reliability of the tours is actually not that bad either. Really? For the Genesis? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Again, I don't know how to put it, but it just, 
There's there's multiple cars out there. I mean, oh, yeah. this was just kind of like a compiled list. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I mean, there's uh, there's other cars out mm-hmm. there that you know under fifteen grand you could get, and more so your style. I mean, yeah. I I don't prefer again a Honda Civic, uh, but some people do for being a beginner, beginner vehicle. A Honda Civic. Yeah, like some no. people do, like a Honda Civic Si. No. Obviously not. We don't. <laughs> They're long <lawnmowers>. holders. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but again, there's people out there that have Honda yeah. Civic SIs, and I mean, there's there's a guy um, that I work with mm-hmm. at the body shop. His bu- he has a buddy mm-hmm. who has a 2003 Honda Civic SI, the hatchback. Yeah, and I mean, this guy he's done some work to that SI, mm-hmm. and it actually looks good. Um, he's I, got like wide fender flares on yeah. it, and you know he's done work to it. So I, you know, that's kind of car that you appreciate. Yeah, and like you know, those are the kind of cars you you take in and say like, oh my god, he took time and mm-hmm. effort into making that car looking like that, and that's that's all he wants. Yeah, and I mean that car's pushing like oh, I think five hundred is, uh, oh. is yeah, something like I think yeah, well yeah. over over five hundred horsepower is okay. what he's pushing out of that Civic Si. Yeah. And I mean it's clean, it's mm-hmm. white, and it's got a black mixture to it. No. It's a clean Civic Si. Let me ask you too. And I, I don't know. I can't remember the owner of the car, but when we went to IFO three years ago, remember that one purple Honda Civic that I was like drilling over? It, it had it had the uh, the Pontiac 3800 uh, series motor, but it, was, it had that big fat boy supercharger sitting on top of it. Oh, now yes. that that was an interesting. That car. was a very and let me, okay. I just want to finish. The reason why I don't like Hondas is more so of the people that own them. A lot of them are, they think immature. they're the stuff. Yes, they're immature. They want to go out and piss for their cars. I'm like, I don't really. It, I, I mean, obviously, same. not everybody likes it. Some people like it, sure. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, is like, the immaturity level is not, it, it's there. Yeah. The, Im, the immaturity is just there. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, whenever people own these cars, like I said, again, it's a cheap car. You can buy a Honda oh, Civic. Yeah. For less than a thousand dollars right now, oh, yeah. you know what Easily. I mean? Yep. Easy, and this is you know you can dump five thousand dollars mm-hmm. into it, and it's up and running, yeah. and you know you're doing a whole bunch of other stuff to it. Mm-hmm. So, will I ever get a Civic? As I know, yeah. no, never, 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 never. And just because the people don't own it, that's the only reason why, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's but anyway, it is what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It comes down to it. But also, so going back to that one Civic, right? Yeah. Honestly, that's probably. Maybe one of one of out of five Civics that I ever seen in my entire life that I actually like. Yeah. And I mean that that he had so much work and fabrication put into that car. Like it was the cleanest Civic I ever seen yes, in my entire life. I remember. It was. I mean that car was gorgeous. Yeah, I remember. And like people people that put the you know people that put hard you know work time and effort and money into their cars, I completely one hundred percent respect. Mm-hmm. It's just again the immature kids. Right. That's where it starts knocking it down. For I mean, it's not even Honda Civics. It's, there's other cars out there that they do that too, and they just yeah, but it's kinda, more so Honda than anything else, though. And you see memes and videos on mm-hmm. Facebook where you know they got guys that are doing this behind yeah. a Honda Civic. <laughs> like, I mean, still, again, it's just if you want a Honda Civic, do what you want with it. Yeah. Just but don't be annoying. Don't be annoying with it. And then you know, again, if that's what you're gonna do. Mm-hmm. We can't be friends. <laughs> yeah, no. Because, I mean, again, it's just, if you want to be in the car community, be respectful of others. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it, it's this is not cool, and you ruin the vibe, and, you know, it's just, the vibe of a car community should be where they enjoy yeah, every, it, everything out there. Yep. And if you have a Honda Civic, it, it, and you just want to show it off, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Just don't piss other people off around you, you know? See, and the reason so, I'm going to stop it, too, because... Two years ago, actually, actually, when we saw that when we saw that really gorgeous Honda Civic, we were, him and I were at IFO, mm-hmm. and it got it got so bad that the announcer got the, the MC. I can't remember his name. He got pissed off because so the, the concession stand was so here we were lined up. The concession mm-hmm. stand was right here, and there was a line of Hondas yep, just piss revving their cars the entire day. And actually, it got to the point where a lot of other people, yeah, a lot yeah. of people got yeah, headaches. A lot of people left. I mean, that's where, like, no one enjoys that one. Like, the car show. Yeah, we're, yeah. All, we're all there to, you know, A, see other people's really cool cars. That's, yeah. That's the number one thing. Meet other really cool people. And, like, as soon as Honda start doing that, any car for that matter starts doing that, it just ruins it. And I said, it, it got to the point where even the announcer, spokesperson, whatever his name was, got really pissed off at yeah. him. And he was ready to kick everybody out. I mean, it's just like, I... 
I don't like that because I don't I don't want to go to a car show and instantly get annoyed because there's some immature kids yeah. wanting to rev up their cars. It, it all sounds the same. Honda's and me all sound exactly the same. It sounds yeah. like a park <laughs> I mean, every the, and I, when I say the entire day, I really do mean the entire day. <laughs> 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 so I mean that, that's yeah. that's where we're coming from. Yeah. Like I said, if you have a Civic and you're respectful, oh we love you. You're you're, you're just like all oh, yeah, you're just like us. We love we love to meet you. We love to talk to you. But if you're one of the like immature kids, yeah, we that's where it's a whole different ballgame. Yeah, for us. like I'm not gonna disrespect you or anything, but it's just I, I just dislike it and I yeah. disagree with it. Um, so, anyways, on to the like finishing up the mm-hmm. the topics. I mean, there's another vehicle I wanted to talk about. And it was interesting. It kind of just popped up in my head. Um, the Volkswagen. The Golf GTI. Oh, I didn't you know think I mean? about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I never thought and about that. And you got either, you got the hatchback, mm-hmm. and they're, they're nice cars, actually. Yeah. yeah. And under 15 grand, and I've seen one, actually, in Pickerington. Mm-hmm. Uh, he drives around. He's actually my brother's friend. Okay. He's got the silver GTI. He's got the wheels on it. He's got the light blue steering wheel on it. He's a cool kid. I didn't see it. You might, you might. I don't know if you have or not, but my, I know him because he knows my brother. Yeah. And uh, they're all just a group of guys mm. just hanging out with their cars. And um, my brother has a ridiculously loud Porsche 944. It's ridiculously <laughs> loud, and it's so slow that as soon as he revs, all you hear is that thing just. Rah! Like that. And it's just like it's not going anywhere. I'm like. Ugh. Anyways, I know he's having fun with it. Mm. That's, that's yeah. just, he's, That's 20, all that he's twenty. Yeah. He's twenty one years old, mm. and you know he's having fun. Yeah. And I mean, he's not going around blah, 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 doing yeah. all that. He's just it's just loud when he's driving mm. it. But it's all his. It's just a group of friends. Yeah. They're, they're all cool and stuff like that. But yes, the Volkswagen Golf I never GTI. Thought about that. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's a decent car. Yeah. Actually, reliability. Mm, it's iffy. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it seems like you also think about the scanner that went on Volkswagen. Yeah. I mean, is it? The gas mileage wise, like how bad it really. <laughs> you know, to be honest, I don't believe it until I see it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so again, it's just it's a good car. Yeah. It's a good beginner's car. Yeah, I would do that. And you sure. can do a lot of like lowering, making mm-hmm. it look nice, custom work, and APR tune. The APR tuning. APR tuning. Yes. Right. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of stuff to it. So mm-hmm. I mean, I was like, it just popped up in my head. A mm-hmm. Golf GTI. That's a good car. Yeah, oh yeah. Under fifteen grand. Mm-hmm. So. Other than that, I mean, I I don't know what other other car I can possibly think of, you know, other than Honda Civic SI, yeah. Golf GTI. Um, you got. That's, that's really it. That's kind of. I mean, if anybody has any other car they want to mm-hmm. talk about, please go ahead and you oh, know, yeah. uh, put in the comments below. Say, mm-hmm. hey, I have this kind of car, and you know, shoot, give it, show us a picture of what mm-hmm. you guys got. You know, that'd be that'd be awesome to see what you guys are all driving around town and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, you know, if you want. In the comments below, put down what your first sports car was and mm-hmm. how much you loved it or what you hated about it. Yeah. You know, put it in the comments below. Yeah. We all want to hear your guys' experience and you know see what you guys uh, thought of your first sports mm-hmm. car. So uh, for my my first sports car, I actually um, <laughs> I was actually stationed in Japan and I got my Evo Six. Yeah. <laughs> and kid you not, I actually got it for three thousand uh, dollars. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Obviously, cars in Japan are cheaper. Yeah. Um, and also, that car, I got it from a captain, I believe, in the Air Force. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember. Uh, he was a great guy. He actually, he was getting ready to leave Island, and I basically just gave him cash for it. And I bought an Evo 6. That was my first ever sports car uh, that I bought. Mm-hmm. And I love it. And I still have it. I brought it over and I still have it. I'm gonna, I gotta do some work to it. It's just sitting around right now. It's gonna need new brakes. It's gonna need a new oil pan, a new alternator. Uh, it needs some body work done to it. it needs a new paint job eventually. So, I mean, there, there's stuff that needs to be done. And, and shoot, it, I'll be uploading the stuff about that car here mm-hmm. on YouTube here shortly. Mm-hmm. Um, but. I just I think it's fun, you know, sharing your experiences. Oh yeah. And Without again, like I said, please do share your experiences mm-hmm. in the comments below, or you know, whatever you guys would like. And, mm-hmm. I mean, what was your first sports car? My first sports car was the red line, really. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, because like I like said, and what really got me on that game on, on that car was Forza Motorsports Three. Really? Yeah, because it had the red line in it. So I was like, yo, this is actually pretty cool. Did it have the blower actually? Yeah, like, yep. in, like And you could actually hear the blower. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is, I'm like, yo, let's, let's go. <laughs> okay, hey, this is cool. 
But yeah, I mean that's that's really it. <laughs> so Okay. Well, I think that concludes our video today. Mm -hmm. I yep. mean, again, we appreciate you guys watching. We love sharing our experiences and giving you guys, you know, things to watch and mm -hmm. kinda feedback. We we love it. We love we love getting feedback. Oh, yeah. Um everybody's opinion matters. Um, we, we try to respond back as fast as we can if it, with anything. And, you know, again, we all love you guys. And is there anything else you want to say? Um, like I said, guys, just remember that we have our 150 subscriber yep. um, give back picnic in the way, if you will. Yep. So, so, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Yep. I mean... I, I, you know, I don't know what else to talk about, honestly. That was, the, that was just our kind of topic today. Mm -hmm. It was the sports car under 15 grand. Yep. Excuse me. Wow, man. I'm, <laughs> I think the soda's kicking in me now. Jeez. Um, but I think, I think we're yeah. all set. We're okay. We're good, yeah. Um, all right, well, yeah. I think we'll conclude the video. All right. All right, we love you guys. Yep. Take care. Have Again. Remember, tell your family, friends, yep. everyone that you guys know, share our videos, hit that subscribe button, mm -hmm. hit that like button, hit that notification bell, just so you guys can see what we're up to, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. And we'd love to share with you guys. We love you all. Have a good night. Yep. Deuces. Yep. See ya. <laughs>